Well, I'm pleased to say that Lonely Traveller Productions is now back on the road again, which is really good. And I am here at the uh, Delhi House Caf in, uh, in Manchester, right at the top of Market Street, or the bottom of Market Street, whichever way you're looking at it. So I've decided to, uh, to have a curry and a beer. It's been a long time now. It's nice to be inside, isn't it? Got to be careful, but it's nice to be inside. And here we are. Got myself a Kingfisher. This is the, would you believe it, this is only the third beer of the year. So, feels like some catching up to do. Well, that uh, Pandora was really nice, wasn't it? So I hope you can hear me all right, I was uh, on the microphone. So we'll be going to uh, Stratford-on-Avon today to have a look about, check into a nice hotel there and uh, see what we can see. So let's start travelling. Here we are on the train. This is uh, coach one. It's actually um, I've got the whole the whole coach to myself. It's it feels uh, quite strange to uh, cling to yourself. Yeah. As you can see, the whole there's nobody here. Setting off soon, so I'm going to be going to Birmingham New Street on the train that goes to Reading and then off at obviously Birmingham New Street and then walk across to another station and then from there so in theory theory although one train has already been cancelled that's why I'm on this one it should be all right Well, here we are. We have arrived. A bit late. <laughs> Very late. Uh, lots of train delays and... Oh my word. It wasn't pretty. Telling them they were in Stratford-on-Avon, the birthplace of Shakespeare. Youths are stuff will not endure, so he sang, yet he himself, like all poets, is ever young. And, as though to confound his own words, will endure as long as men and women have regard for the things of the spirit. Every year they come in thousands to see for themselves his birthplace. Details of this house are known throughout the world. Purchased in 1847 for preservation as a national memorial, it makes a fascinating study, for here is living history, a reminder of the genius once sheltered in its walls. And to remind us that the bard was human, close by there lies yet another link with the past. William Shakespeare and Anne Hathaway, two names as immortally linked as his own Romeo and Juliet. It's understandable the crowds roll up. 150,000 to this cottage each year, a high proportion from overseas. The name of Shakespeare and its associations have created a major industry and the small town of Stratford is indeed a boom town. The Guildhall and Grammar School are but two more of the interesting historic places for the eager tourist. 
for everything to do with the Swan of Avon arouses an enthusiasm that has grown steadily with the years. This is indeed Shakespeare country, and the visitor is left in no doubt. Whether it be food, shelter, tea or beer, you partake of it in the name of the world's leading genius. Well, here we are. I've just checked myself into the Welcome Inn. So, nice hotel, nice hotel. Let me uh, show you a bit of the room. Got a very nice, uh, spacious bed. And uh, the usual teas and coffees. Pan around, pan around to this shot of the room. I like the, uh, the, the, uh, the lampshade on that. That's pretty good. And then moving around as we do. Here we have the bathroom, a, a rather noisy bathroom. I hasten to add. And of course, I love baths. Well, cost wise, you're looking, it's right in the middle of a golf course at around about £127 on average per night. So, it's Best Western. Uh, I think Best Western have teamed up with uh, Hallmark Hotels because this was previously a Hallmark Hotel. So, there we are. Hopefully we'll get to see what the food is like. And I will let you know. So, now I'm going to make a nice cup of tea.